you know, the responsibility, the partnership between uh, the people and uh, the government. Of course, yes, government cannot just uh, sit and say that it's the people's responsibility. Now we have done what uh, we are supposed to do and, you know, the rest of the things uh, the community and the people has to do, no. But, you know, the, in a uh, unison direction, what is required now is like government also on the part of uh, government or I mean specific to the Dimapur uh, under the, uh, Dimapur municipal. We also really have to the relook at the system that is in place at the moment. But again, without the change of mindset and without the cooperation and the initiative from the public side, even if uh, the municipal does uh, so many things also, it, uh, it is not uh, the, uh, you know, uh, it not provide the total solution for all the issues and problems. So now, uh, specifically, the situation, the drainage and uh, the uh, the waste management system, the collection system that is uh, there in our city as of now. We really have to the, you know, the plan and come up with a system whereby these uh, issues are addressed uh, efficiently. And uh, on the part of uh, DMC, I had uh, uh, I am here in the helm since uh, last year November, and uh, we are trying uh, to come up with uh, uh, various uh, things, which uh, you know uh, definitely the support from the civil society, support from the. Uh, the UCC of the council, the Gamboras of the concerned uh, wards and colonies very much uh, is uh, necessary. Now, let me just uh, share you, uh, like, uh, as uh, Monchan has shared, the DMC staff, you know, the, they, they start the duty from 3 or 4 in the morning. So every day routine, they are doing it. But uh, now, uh, the things uh, which uh, uh, is there is that now, no matter how much uh, the collection or the door-to-door -door collection or whatever the waste collection is happening, it is inefficient in the sense because our drainages are filled with garbage our open spaces are filled with garbage. So we cannot say that uh, we are having effective ways of uh, waste collection. So we need to seriously think about the coming up with the different uh, you know, the, uh, means for the waste collection system. Now, we have a bigger truck. So the, our, the problem that uh, we are facing now is, now, because of the traffic and all these things. Now our truck has to, you know, collect the, the waste, whatever it is, the collection has to be completed by 7 a.m. in the morning because by 8, the school traffic, the school children, the, the traffic flow starts. So we cannot, we cannot, our truck, the bigger truck cannot remain on road from 8 uh, a.m. onwards. So whatever it is, it has to be completed before that. And whether the collection early in the morning is really uh, uh, effective or not, we all know how, how uh, is it. So now we need to uh, really uh, rethink about uh, the collection system. Now when we see uh, the other cities, uh, the better cities, uh, uh, the cities having uh, better waste management. Now, their collection uh, timing is uh, throughout the day. They go for second uh, uh, leave, third leave, if required, even four or fifth uh, uh, times 
they go in the same colony or the same uh, locality and collect the waste. Now, when we talk about waste, again, the important part is the how to deal with our waste waste because dry waste somehow we can uh, you know manage and even we can retain at our uh, household levels, but the wet waste has to be dealt every day. So with all this, you know, the, on the part of municipal also, we will, uh, uh, we are in the process of uh, coming up with a system where, you know, the, these improvements we are uh, targeting to achieve these yeah, improvements. Plus, uh, at the moment, everywhere, like, uh, our situation is really in a really the bad shape. Uh, look at our dump site, the dumping site. We already have uh, you know court case with uh, NGD also, and uh, they have given a certain timeline uh, to achieve those uh, remedial measures. Plus, you know even to uh, shift the dump site to the other other location and things like that. So with all these uh, uh, issues at hand. Uh, we are moving, but uh, we are not discouraged. We know that at the end of the day, uh, you know, the, our conscious, uh, the supportive, uh, concerned civil societies and uh, the groups and down to the individual level, we all rise up to, you know, the, overcome this uh, issue. Now, um, specifically coming to the uh, uh, this uh, campaign. Now, even from the DMC side, we are planning to the organize one uh, um, campaign kind of thing with the schools. Now, this uh, campaign uh, uh, actually was initiated uh, in the year 2018-19 uh, by DMC, but uh, unfortunately, the COVID pandemic, it uh, just at the initial stage, the pandemic thing happened and uh, they did not continue. But now we feel that it's the right uh, uh, time to uh, kickstart this campaign. Maybe we are uh, planning, we're looking at the, uh, the time after the summer break. Um, this uh, campaign will uh, focus on the NLPs and the single-use plastics. So the multi-layer plastic, chips, laga, dapakhan, then uh, milk powder, laga, dapakhan, with the school, school children. So at the school level, this uh, collection we will uh, have uh, introductory orientation with the, the maybe school eco club and things like that. Then after that, uh, the identified school uh, we will fix a time where our vehicle comes and collects only those uh, NLPs, the single-use plastic, the NLPs, whatever the sweet wrappers, whatever uh, the students have to uh, collect from their homes and, uh, you know, the, uh, at the school there will be a common uh, collection point. So, we are looking at uh, not having this uh, Dhamo Dhamo high-sounding uh, uh, projects and plans, but with the small, small steps that uh, we take for different, uh, dealing with different aspects of uh, the management system, overall, we see that, uh, you know, it has to be done like that only. Otherwise, there is no way out. We have to start from the basic, just like taking one step at a time. So, with that, uh, we will be the coordinating with the, the schools and sure our Don Bosco school will be the, in the top of the list. So we will uh, really the, like to the, you know, the initiate and uh, of course the schools in the town area. Maybe we can even uh, tie up now, even with the Mukokchum also. Uh, you know, they have already started this, so the, we are looking at, because uh, <coughs> you may be thinking what we will be doing with the, the collected MLPs. Now the MLPs, as we all know, is at the end of life plastic, so it does not, does not have any uh, value. 
does not have any recyclable value. So ultimately, it uh, reaches our uh, dump site or it reaches the drains and the rivers, and you know, the, it uh, goes on like that. So now, <coughs> um, we will tie up with uh, the uh, cement factory because this uh, MLP is now um, even burning of the MLPs, it has a health uh, related issues. So we are not supposed to the burn because uh, we are protecting ourselves. So the only thing that we can do is collect it, preserve it, collect clean uh, MLPs, keep it so that, uh, you know, with the DE coordination with the DMC, we will collect it, we will take it to our uh, material recovery facility, we will uh, bail it there, we will keep it there, then we tie up with the civil factory so that uh, once the load is full, they can come and they can pick the uh, consignment. So that is what uh, we are looking at. Now, at least to start with, if we are able to the, you know, uh, address uh, a particular uh, uh, type of waste that is uh, there in our dump site, then you know, the we can, uh, result might be similar, but the function is very different. Even in the print media, even in the press media, we have different me medium of media. We have the print media and we have the broadcast. Since I'm representing the Morong Express, I'll be sharing the perspective of print media. The Morong Express believes in telling people's story. Na manula ka kisa ko ay bisip power asa inya belief ko yun ay morong So for us, our aspiration is to create public space where people can talk and share the stories. To create a space where they can interact and tell uh, about about what is happening. And we believe that those stories are what gives lives and meaning to what we all do. Allow me to share a personal experience. In 2024, 2014, and 2015, one of my friends, she had started a small project with the underprivileged children, home-based institution, okay? So, with the permission and understanding of our organization, I volunteered in the institute. There were around 30 to 25 students. In the beginning of the year, you know, we will have 40, 50 students coming for, the inst for you know, to be in the center. But by the second month, third month, no? the children will be slowly out of the center and we will end up with 15 or 10 of them. However, um, most of the children were from broken families no? and they were from uh, the bordering areas. The institute was located in the island colony. There were children from broken families, parents who were abusive and drinking, you know, and economically lower status. The whole purpose of my friend starting the, the institute is called Senai Educational Center. The whole purpose of the Senai Educational Center was to let the children enjoy their childhood for at least three hours every day, and that inspired me. The three hours from Monday to Friday, we would, we would teach them, we would, you know, give them life lessons. It was just two or three of us, but we would do it with all our hearts. And every Wednesday, my friend and I, we would butt the children, you know, brush their beads, clip their nails, and send them home with clean clothes. But the next day, they will come back the same, you know, dirt in your feet, sometimes without sandals. They will come back with their torn clothes and things like that. However, Every time they came back to the center, they would come back with enthusiasm because those three hours were the only time they feel safe and they feel protected. All we did was to make them feel special and wanted. How? By providing clean water, by providing healthy snacks, and also giving them the opportunity to learn and to grow. As a journalist, though I volunteered there on my personal capacity, it ignited the passion in me to tell their stories and not my story. In multiple occasions, I seized the opportunity to tell what the children were experiencing. And I'm not claiming to, be, to take the credit, but I'm glad to share. 
by chance and by choice, being there in that part as a journalist helped get many different kinds of help. We could afford uniforms, we could, we could sponsor two children to a proper school and things like that. So there was so much power being in the media and telling people's story. Why am I telling this experience? It is because creating a clean and safe environment for children must start from the individual and the community. We can talk about, you know, as a media person, I can tell you about the things that we can do, possibly about writing stories, publishing articles, you know, being part of the campaign and putting up press releases and articles and features. However, for me, it goes beyond that. We want to deal on where are the children in our campaign. Let the children speak. That is something that can inspire and aspire for any campaign to go to a long term. This is where the role of media becomes very important. In the Naga context, often it is the parent, the teachers, the guardian, or the society that is speaking for the children. I have so many things to share. I'll just try to make it very short and interesting for everyone so that like, we will get something at least from what I'm sharing. I just want to share, uh, start with one uh, quote, okay? Quotation, uh, the famous uh, tennis player uh, Novak uh, Jagovic, he has uh, just quoted this uh, quotation, all, I quote, all children have rights and those rights must be protected, was what he was uh, sharing because like he coming from a, a country where you know there is lots of war you know and uh, you know uh, coming to a, a state where he became world number one you know he's always uh, advocating for the people of his country Serbia so you know with that note I just want to uh, just go on straight to uh, the role of an institution towards creating clean and safe environment for children. See, every institution plays a very vital role in the lives of children uh, in all aspects, since all the children spend at least five to six hours, you know, in school for almost uh, five days a week. So that comes to around uh, 30 hours per week. So 30 hours per week, students, all the children are, you know, in the school in a week, okay? So uh, it is very important or the institution, the responsibility of the institution and every stakeholders involved in it, uh, it is very important for them to create a very safe school environment where a student is protected against all dangers and create an environment of harmony, promoting the physical well-being the social, uh, emotional, and the psychological well-being of the children. So, some key points, uh, the uh, three, four points that I want to share today is number one is the physical environment that I want to share. Institutions, all the institutions should provide clean, hygienic, and safe physical environment. Okay. When I say clean, hygienic, and safe physical environment, I mean to say that there should be you know proper building structures classrooms should be adequate where you know according to the uh, the prescribed form format 23 students to one teacher ratio should be there in the classrooms you know those kind of uh, provisions and proper uh, playground even if it's not a big playground like you know uh, that we find in uh, a school institute like Nundusco or Dulfla School, a small at least playground for children should always be there. So those are the physical um, you know, provisions that every institution should have and then every institution should see that they are free from uh, hazards such as uh, toxins, sharp objects and structural issues are also very much uh, required for the physical environment. Now, uh, it is also very essential for regular inspections and maintenance of, uh, to be conducted to secure uh, safety standards you know, in the institutions. Uh, number two, that I want, two, second point that I want to deal with is the health and sanitation 
Institutions should provide good hygiene practices among children, uh, such as hand washing, you know, personal cleanliness and proper waste disposal. Uh, in my school, government higher secondary schools in Mijan, we always conduct uh, hand washing. How to? Because my school is a composite school, the only higher secondary school which is government school which is running from class eight to class twelve. So I cater to you know class I mean two years, three years kabacha, you know to class twelve students also, and uh, I will say. 80% of our children are coming from very economically, you know, uh, uh, poor families, especially simply jump side and all you will see. Selope, Pate, you know, uh, going beyond Hebron game and all, Tezepe, Tezepe, all those areas comes under uh, my school jurisdiction and I will I will say that 50% of them are helpers for staying in, you know, Malik Kakar and then like 50% uh, uh, are those uh, parents Mia's majority are Mia's in my school, and they are, you know, uh, workers in the battlefields. Uh, you know, the whole street from Singidijan till Hebron Gen, you'll see, but uh, in battlefields only. So they are so, uh, children whose parents are all workers there. They come, and uh, you will see them like really uh, untidy, dirty every day in the school assembly. We give them uh, instructions to. You know, clean yourself and come. I feel sorry for my student, uh, teachers also. 30, 40 minutes, okay, they go enter the classrooms and you the stench, the smell that comes in the class now, because our classrooms are also very school, small, okay. Government High Secondary Sing Region was established in the year 1967 by the village community. Classroom in much of the 30 students accommodation, but enrollment of in every year, class <coughs> 52 people. You will, you'll just come and see an amaze. In class 11, I have 96 students. I don't know where to accommodate them. You know, parents are coming and begging, crying, crying. No, like admission divina, admission divina. Government school, the Napotale, where to send? Now, higher secondary school, only higher secondary school in the Tansuri Bar Cup uh, stretch. Uh, Singhijan is now under Chumukitima district now, but uh, Chumukitima higher secondary school and Singhijan, again, it's very like you know the 34 kilometers from Simrijan to Jumukirima because uh, recently I experienced during the board exam attack uh, you know we have to measure all those kilometers and uh, take all the question papers back to Jumukirima for submission to board onwards and all those works and all. I've uh, done all those studies and all but uh, what is it so what I mean to say is students nah, that kind of students are coming to our school so we are always uh, giving them, <coughs> uh, what is it, lessons in the classrooms and all, you know, keep yourself neat and tidy, you know, cleanliness is next to godliness. But what I'm going to say is again, everything starts from home, right? You know? So we always call their parents also, and we educate them, we sensitize the parents also that, you know, when you they send your children to school, at least give them a butt and send them to school, you know, and some parents to someone be like, so we also we have uh, uh, you know some fund allotted for such cases and all and sometimes we just discuss with our teachers and we give life for someone and adults and all you know free distribution to the students and all also okay that's what we also do this is what I'm talking about the civic sense ah Nijal are reporting with that high level it will be TMC and all that ah Nijal la subji khana order subji banana ni bi bi tiem si kala wala ke. Kile na wale because we don't have the civic sense. We here we're not talking about cleanliness. We're talking about civic sense. That's extension of you to be a part of civil society in Singapore. Let's not talk about you know. We always talk about going to Singapore. We can you load down the. We talk about Singapore, we talk about Australia, we talk about uh, going to Dubai, Europe countries. We never talk about Dimapur. Who would want to come to Dimapur yeah, for vacation? Do you think, if you stay in US and if you stay in Singapore, would you come to Dimapur for a holiday? For a honeymoon? For summer break? No one will do that. Why are you laughing? We are all laughing at ourselves. It's you and me. Let's not wait for a DMC. Let's not wait for the GB Union. Let's not wait for the government. 
do something. Kali election na po sa kayo na po natin. Election na po sa kayo na you have no right to say that the next block was it. Last time he has. Yes or no? We all have to be equal responsible. Okay? And that is why we started a group called Team Better Team Abroad. Can I, can I team please stand on your feet? I want to show them the face. Do you have a comment on my way? I'm telling you, Team Better Team Abroad is not an organization. Sorry, okay? So I'm telling you that that's been okay. <laughs> We are not an organization to show or become famous in Imapur. We are like-minded people getting together. We sit together and talk. Kali government you look like you are No, you look like you are DMC, you look administration, you look like you are We should do something. Then you have the right to say that tweet. Yes or no? That's why this team has started. With the aim, simple vision. Greener, cleaner, and healthy Dimapur. And the main objective is participation. This team is not just us. We have 30 of us, and core team is 19. But this team doesn't belong to this core team or the members. It belongs to all of us. And we are equally important. Team Better Dimapur team is not just a team of 30 or 19 members. It included you and me. Yeah? First thing, dear kids. You are there? Can you see me? Handsome Masadi Sabi Baruna. You should always think that, you know, your pocket is your first dustbin. Okay? From today, be an example. You don't have to come down there, you know, you don't have to come down there, you don't have to come down there, you don't have to come down there. When you become an example for others, hmm, you don't have to come down there. Suppose you don't have to come down there, you don't have to come down there. You don't have to come down there. You don't have to come down there. It's not your fault. That is how we have been brought up. Okay? That is how we have been brought up. And you and I need to change. I think you are a team member. 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 I think you are a team that is how you create a chain of community participation. And today, I don't want to take it long. I want to say, be a part of it. Now, I don't know. I don't know. Manuan video kan dek kiki bonsi bunai na kiki guna means create kure na itu kan tu tangan ni je demo semua kan create kure asde. Kunda kuse report tu tu yang ramai pelajar itu. Macam kun pelajar, mohon pun pelajar itu. No mana dia ni? Bahu ni use pun ini na macam orang ini na pelajar ni ke? Ame ni je pelajar itu. So if that is not mocking to the government, mocking yourself, okay? Stop doing that. Ah. Don't do these technical things or you want to do this. Now we should do, should do as it. You know, we as it. Only there are so many things, and DMC and administration and so many unions only that are working now. How to? You know, we don't have all. Nah, just you know, step, just you know, I just say, I mean, we both do it. Now, now, manula, we have to do that. But think like that. We have an equal responsibility, equal thing to share, and that is why Team Better Tomorrow is here to help you all in any ways we can. That's why Mohan Sir, no matter what, manula, follow me. Kita mahu pesan lagi sih beliau tu, sir, macam kau ni nak beli? Oba ini, faham kau tu macam, sir, macam kau ni nak beli sama kau beli? And that is how we have been very supporting. Okay, in life, we always talk good things about when people have already passed away. So today I want to talk on behalf of DMC. They are working so hard. They woke up at three thirty in the morning. Just ek bar uti na sabi, three thirty uti na tan das pengen sama kau orang tiar kau ni. कितना छोट बाजी हुआ दुकान खुला हमने लेतरा हुई है डीएमसी सभा खुला न होए दुकान वाला काम पब्लिक अपना मिला हुआ है इसे वी शुड अंडरस्टैंड दैट ओके सो सो ऑन बिहाम ऑफ डीएमसी प्लीज कैन यू प्लीज जाना वांस डीएमसी का एक बार बारे जो होने एंड यस टू दिस वर्ल्ड वी कैन से यू एंड 
I make a change? Okay? Let's all put our hands and join our hands together. Let's not talk about the whole Nagaland. Let's at least keep our city clean, Imamu clean and greener. Okay? Thank you so much. God bless you.